Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Hadi. Today we're going to talk about how do we investigate couples who want to get pregnant, who are trying to get pregnant and have been delayed for some time. The first thing we do is we take a history and make sure that there are no major issues that would cause a problem in getting pregnant or that are clearly delaying pregnancy. And then we start some investigations and the investigations in the female are usually based on the fact that every month through a set of complicated hormonal waves and changes we get the release of one egg. This one egg, if released and fertilized, we get pregnant and everyone is happy. If it gets released and it does not get pregnant, we get the monthly period. Because of the changes that occur in the monthly waves of hormones, it is very important to test the hormones on special days of that month. So typically FSH, the hormone that makes eggs grow, is tested on the third day. So the first day is the first day of real period. We miss the second day and you do it on the third day. Actually you can roughly do it on the second, third or fourth day. We typically would do an LH hormone with it at the same time. And if we want to know if ovulation has occurred, we do a progesterone test. A progesterone test cannot just be done any day you walk to the lab. It needs to be done about a week after the expected ovulation. Based on that result, we can confirm whether ovulation has occurred or not and if we need some hormonal support or not. So typically when people, couples come and say we just walked into the lab randomly and did a blood test, I usually don't take it as a matter of fact and I would like and most other physicians would like to repeat it on the third day of your period. PCO. PCO is a wrong name because it translates in English saying polycystic ovary. This usually gives the understanding or idea that there are cysts inside the ovary and most people think that cysts need to be removed by surgery. This is a wrong name because there are no cysts that need to be removed and there is no surgery involved. By and large, the treatment of PCO is medical treatment. The cause of PCO is unknown, but we know it's related to a flat line of the waves of hormones that we talked about in the regular hormonal changes of periods. So instead of the hormones going up and down in a certain way, we get nearly flat lines. So the ovaries get confused, the eggs get confused and they don't know what to do. So they do not release an egg every month. So typically we don't get regular periods. And typically there is delayed pregnancy. We can also get extra hair, acne, breakouts, sometimes high blood pressure, sometimes diabetes, sometimes history of diabetes in the family, sometimes overweight and finding it difficult to lose weight and other changes. The test for that again is a hormonal test. We add to that an ultrasound and we consider the clinical presentation. Again, the treatment is usually medical. If we want pregnancy, we go about trying to help you get pregnant. One of the methods we use the medication called metformin, which is, yes, that diabetes medication. We know you do not have diabetes, but it has been proven to be very effective in treatment of PCO. Sometimes we actually use birth control pills, oral contraceptive pills, uh, to regulate the cycles, to change the hormonal pattern in a special way, uh, to bring on a period and other benefits. The tubes. We call them the love lanes, if you will. It is where the egg and the sperm will meet. When the egg is released every month, the tube will suck the egg in. Sperms come through the cervix, through the uterus and in the tube, and they meet the egg. This is where fertilization will occur. If fertilization occurs and the fertilized egg now moves inside the uterus and stays there, we get pregnant and everyone is happy again. If fertilization happens, and the fertilized egg stays inside the tube, we, we get what we call ectopic pregnancy. It's not normal. The tube is not 
equipped is not made to carry a pregnancy for nine months. So there might be some pain, there might be some bleeding, there might be a lot of bleeding. It can be an emergency. So we always caution couples who are in the process of trying to get pregnant and for a while after they leave a clinic, for a few months after they leave a clinic, if you think you're pregnant, go to a healthcare professional, have your HCG level checked, get an ultrasound arranged and make sure if we are pregnant, we confirm where the pregnancy is. Many times the treatment is simple and medical. We hope it does not reach the level where it is an emergency and surgery is needed. Factors in the tube that delay pregnancy can be um, infections in the past, can be surgeries in the past, can be history of endometriosis. Um, more information will be discussed later. Talking about endometriosis, it's a, quite common in North America. It's this condition where the inside lining of the uterus, the cells, the tissue of the inside lining of the uterus, has spilled outside of the uterus into the pelvis causing scarring, pain, delayed pregnancy, sometimes certain types of cysts, we call them chocolate cysts. The treatment, the diagnosis of that for sure is only done by a scope or a camera that looks inside your tummy to confirm that it is there and sometimes treat it through the scope. Or if not, if you need medical treatment, you can be given injections or pills. The names of the medications vary depending on which stage we are at and what are the immediate target that we are aiming at. In younger women, if they just need pain control, birth control pill can be the best option. Sometimes a new medication called uh, Vizan, um, this is relatively new, sometimes this affects uh, the endometriosis um, without needing to burn them. The old-fashioned, well more well-known uh, treatment is the Lupron shot where, or LHRH shot, where you get a shot every month, prevents uh, periods, prevents pain, but as you see, these options prevent pregnancy. For couples who are interested to get pregnant, we uh, concentrate more on getting them pregnant we know that endometriosis sometimes delays pregnancy a little bit, but it's a balance between if we have pain symptoms and how much we can control the pain or tolerate the pain versus how much we want to get pregnant.